Hey guys, Circle, welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. Let's carry on where we left off. The killer is back in town, but we foiled his latest plans. Once again, we've rescued Naoto from her dungeon. Yes, her dungeon, because Naoto is actually a female, uh, masquerading as a male uh, in order to gain acceptance, I suppose, by the police community. Uh, it's hard enough being looked down upon because she's a child, uh, in their words, but uh, being a female doesn't also fit her ideal version of a detective, based on the hard-boiled detective novels that she used to read as a child. So, we, uh, we've learned quite a lot about Naoto and how, uh, fearing rejection, she's kind of opted to keep everyone at arm's distance to begin with, so that way you don't get hurt, but Kanji came along and said, no, that is not true because you haven't even given it a fair shot, which shows how far Kanji has come, actually, because he, too, used to push people away because he was fearing rejection based on his hobbies as a male. So, uh, now that Naoto's uh, unlocked her persona, it's entirely possible that she may join our, our investigation team, and, well, I suppose our rivalry will will come to a halt temporarily as we make a alliance of sorts. Uh, time will tell though, we, we need to wait for Nato to recover before then. Anyway, that means we have time to work on our social links before the rain uh, rolls in and then the fog comes in shortly after. So let's get moving. I see Teddy's continuing to loiter outside our classroom. Hey lads, what's up? Hey, did you hear? That Hanako's laying down the law with the other girls. Oh, is she now? <laughs> she said, you better not go near Ted. What the hell did this guy do? Uh, it'd be easier to ask what didn't this guy do. He's honestly a one-man flirting machine. He'll flirt with anything that moves. Right, guy with glasses who's just decided to stand and listen to our conversation? Eavesdropping, buddy. I heard that on the school trip some students ditched but managed to return before morning. You wouldn't have been among them, would you? Uh, yep, yeah, I ditched. I'm shocked that you would say that so openly. Have you no shame? Clearly not, no. If Mr. Moroka could hear you now, he'd have you expelled right here on the spot. Yeah, well, I'm not telling Mr. Moroka, I'm telling you. And you wouldn't dare tell a teacher on me, would you, guy in glasses? Snitches get stitches, you know. And get bound in ditches. <laughs> uh, you, my friend, what's up? This guy's been the talk of the entire female student body. Something about him tickling their maternal instincts. <laughs> their maternal instincts. We're in high school. I want to tickle him too. Oh. You've got maternal instincts as well, or, or paternal? Teddy, what's going on? Sensei, do you know the secret of hitting on girls? I hear it's an eternal debate amongst boys. They say it's all in the first impressions. How would you handle it? Uh, I'd pretend to ask the time. No, I don't think they'd fall for such an outdated strategy. I'd ask them straight up, probably, because I'm the Chad of the school, and, well, I used to be popular, and then Naoto came along. <laughs> but, uh, as soon as I do good on my exams coming up, I'm sure my reputation will be salvaged. Uh, I wait for them to hit on me? No, that is not a Chad move. We're gonna ask them straight up. So you just take your chances? Now that's my sensei! What a man! <laughs> when I come to school, I get to hear so many different stories. It's all part of the charm of this place. <laughs> yeah, well, everyone has different tactics, I suppose. This guy is just still in awe at the fact that I ditched <laughs> the, the school trip. Hanako, what are you... Oh, God, no, we're doing this angle again. Wait, hang on. Yep, back here. There we go. Huh, <laughs> he must be so flustered if he still doesn't notice me. Love is blind. Hurry and find me. I'll always be here. I, I, I don't think he has trouble finding you, to be honest. You're quite hard... You're quite hard to miss, standing by the stairs after school. Anyone would, could walk into you. How's your senpai, miss? Ooh, I is free this afternoon. That's good. We might actually spend some time with her. Uh, most of the dialogue is repeating with my fellow students, so we'll avoid that for now. Um, let me just explore town for a little bit and see if we can find any alternatives, but most likely we're going to speak, uh, spend time with I this afternoon. Ah, right, I should be turning in my quests since I collect... I should also turn in that silver lump as well before I forget. Uh, hang on, let's just see if we can hand in anything here. I've asked everyone, but they all say that normally people can't perform telepathy. But I think if they're twins, they might be able to. Ugh, I gotta use telepathy. Chocolate. Chocolate. You guess you should find the younger twin on the riverbank and ask what snack she thinks of. All right, of course, I should probably do that. How about you, sir? I've been looking for some of those dishes myself, but I haven't been able to find any. 
My sister seems to have a real talent for destruction of crockery. I need those fashionable dishes. What else? Mm, well, scales have some dish-shaped things, don't they? And they're pretty all they're pretty flashy, so you might find them in an adult setting. Right, you'd find s scales in an adult setting. Of course you would. Uh, well, unfortunately, this just means I missed out on collecting them in Rize's dungeon. I ended up collecting the silver lump, though. Oh, have you heard about that new book that's come out? It's amazing to see an author's style grow, isn't it? The Bully Teacher series is a prime example. These books are just getting better and better. Go, Bully Teacher! The next shipment is... October 12th. It's another part in the Man series. He meets God in this one. Then what? <laughs> right, I don't... Where do they go from there, you know? It feels like they've... They've climaxed it. Now, Atami? I was fired from work in spring. But I'm helping with the family business now. The life here is nice, too. And I swear you've told me that before. I'm not running errands today, so I'm just killing some time by myself. Everyone just walks by me without saying a word. It's like I'm not even here. She must feel like this all the time. Aw, look at you, practicing empathy. I notice you all the time, errand boy, thank you. Don't forget that I speak with you every now and then. Oh, now he's available as well. We've made some good progress with him, but uh, it'll be nice to catch up with I since we hardly get to spend time with her. I know this is a few months late, but I have finally got you, your precious silver lump. You know, I wonder where the signal for the Midnight Channel is coming from. A TV needs a signal or else it won't show anything. So there needs to be a source for this information. You gave him the silver lump. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, yeah. Midnight Channel, yeah, needs needs the signal. Here's your silver lump, dude. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'll finally be able to finish now that I have this. I'm sorry to have held up your project. I don't know if this is enough to thank you, but here, I built these radios. Received uplifting radio. Oh, well, thanks. If I'm ever feeling depressed because I've lost my top status in this school, I will listen to this radio. They tend to break easily, but I thought it'd be nice if you could have a listen to them. That said, the quality of the silver is amazing. If something else comes up, can I count on your assistance again? I will endeavor to get things to you at a quicker pace next time. Completed quest 33, acquire a silver lump. Done. Dusted. Kanji's available. My goodness. Hello, do I have anything of use for you? Feels like the fog sticks around for longer and longer. Used to clear up while I was out on my walk, but now it's still around long after I get home. I guess it doesn't matter much. Oh, you have no idea how wrong you are, refreshed old man. <laughs> you gave him the eternal lamp. Is this it? Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really go out, and doesn't run on electricity. Oh, listen to me. I'm going on about it like it's some kind of amazing contraption. I, I mean, it sounds amazing, to be honest, if it never goes out. But whatever you may think, it's pretty amazing to me. Well, here you go. This is a token of my gratitude. 30,000 yen? Holy shit, yes, this is so much better than some uplifting radios. <laughs> Money will buy happiness for me. Completed quest 39, acquire an eternal lamp. I mean, come to think of it, a lot of things are amazing if I stop to think about it. Like, I don't know how my computer is running this game, for instance. Imagine, like, showing this to someone in the 1800s. They'd be gobsmacked. Right, are you thinking of chocolate? My sister shouted at me. Well, geez, tell her to tone down her telepathic communication, then, if it's just ringing in your your ears. She said, why don't you pick the same snack as me? What's so wrong about me liking cookies? Oh, <laughs> I mean, nothing's wrong with liking cookies, but chocolate is clearly superior. Yes? You need to figure out what the first snack she thinks of is without tainting the experiment. <laughs> this is actually, I'm treating this like a scientific experiment. Okay, sure. How do you want to phrase the question? Uh, <laughs> name a black sweet bar. You seem to have been able to fulfill the test request. A brown sweet bar? No, I said black. Oh, I know. Chocolate, right? I think you gave too many hints, though. You did what you were asked. Now you need to report the results. I don't care if I gave you too many hints, okay? I should have just said what starts with C, ends with E, and has hockle <laughs> in the middle. All right, you. I've got more fish. Meow. Seems like it's still hungry. Feed the cat. Take my ambrosima. It's quite. It's eating quite happily. It seems to be very relaxed. Oh, goodness. 
Oh, it gave me antibiotic gel. I just skipped through because I thought there was just more fish to give it. But thank you. And you're immediately demanding more fish. It seems the cat still hungers. No, I'm done. We finished. We finished our deal. Okay, this contract is over. I'm no longer your supplier of seafood. Hello, I'd just like to say that the morphogenetic field is uh, operating exactly as you've intended it to. I've asked everyone, but they all say that normally people can't perform telepathy. What? Gave her a hint? No, that's not okay. But if she asked for a hint, that basically means that she didn't get my message telepathically, huh? Well, thanks for helping. This is a token of my appreciation. Received Dokudami tea. Hmm, did I do something wrong? Maybe I'll try again sometime. Yeah, try again another time. Maybe when you're older and you realize that this is all hocus pocus. Oh, Adachi, you're available today as well. Oh. Oh, it's you. You saved me. Wanna talk? It'll look more like I'm invested. Uh, forget that. Seems Adachi's slacking off. My relationship's not ready to advance yet. That is a shame. Okay, I will come back at some point or maybe I'll even visit the shrine. Oh, really? All right, you be careful on your way home. I need to probably take advantage of the shrine a bit more, maybe at night time, for instance, uh, if people aren't available and, well, there's just me reading a book potentially, right? Or ranking up my understanding. Uh, might be worth just paying a visit to the shrine. All right, I, let's hang out this afternoon. Oh. Oh, you. What do you want? Since you have Suiki, a Persona of the Moon Arcana, you two might get along well. It's not ready to advance yet either. Goodness. All right. What? What? Fine, bye then. <laughs> Team's eye is a bit angry. Run, run, run for your life. It seems that you've summoned quite a lot of personas so far. Moderate bookkeeper is the achievement unlocked. Well then, as I promised, here is another present. Received velvet card. The discount for summoning personas from the compendium has been increased to 15%. As long as you have this, the cost of summoning personas from the compendium will be reduced further. There still seem to be a large number of personas that you are as of yet unaware of. I am extremely interested in seeing what kinds of personas you will find in the future. I look forward to summoning more personas for you here as well. Of course, the time may come when I have another gift for you as well. Well then? Well then, I should probably work on ranking up my social link with Margaret, to be honest. I've kind of neglected it. Uh, so at some point I'm going to need to figure out how to fuse personas with the right skills so she'll be happy and amused. Okay, can we rank up with Naoki today? That's the question. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello, Sosan. Naoki seems to have some free time. I have Hellbiker. My friendship isn't likely to grow closer at this point. Goodness, everyone's oh, just drifting I away see. from me. Oh, is that so? Goodbye, then. Naoki looks a bit sad. Sorry, buddy. It's just that, you know, I'm running out of time, and it's looking less and less likely that I'm going to be able to max out all my social links in this run, so... Uh, I mean, I don't want to say that you don't matter, Naoki, because you do, but I want to see if I can prioritize certain people. Hello, Kanji? Yeah. Hey, so senpai You have some time. Kanji seems to have some free time. I have Barong. My relationship's going to be even closer soon. There we go. We've got some progress to be made. Will you spend the afternoon with Kanji? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah! Sweet. Kanji looks happy. I mean, he's a party member, even though I haven't been really using him as a main, uh person in my party, it's still worth uh, ranking him up, right? He is a cool guy after all. The hill overlooking town. It seems Kanji called the boy here. Right, he had to make a replacement, or uh, source a replacement. Doll that this boy lost because some bullies were mocking him. Here's the stuff I promised you. N no complaining, okay? Here we go. Kanji handed the boy what appears to be a bunny doll. It's complete with clothes, a ribbon, a hat, and an umbrella. Wow, that's... That sounds like you went above and beyond what you needed to do. It's... very elaborate. Whoa! This is incredible! Where'd you buy it? Huh? Who, who cares? But I want one too. Oh. Well... I got one for you. Oh, <laughs> you made a spare! Kanji handed the boy another bunny. It's complete with clothes, shoes, a cap, and a soccer ball. Wow. Damn, Kanji. It's very elaborate. For me? <gasps> Thanks. But where'd you buy it? Uh... <laughs> Just tell him the truth. Well, uh... I... I, I made it. 
<clears throat> you made this? You, you got a problem with that? If you think it's so creepy, then give it... Wow, you're so cool. Hey, can you make me something else? Mom loves this kind of stuff. Now, now, don't <laughs> start demanding new things. Let's uh, let's appreciate what we've got, right? He gave you two bunnies already. That's pretty impressive on its own. It's like he knew you were going to want another one. Huh? Uh, sure. He promised. Uh oh, no backsies. I'm gonna go give this to Sana-chan. Thanks, Mister. Not that old, damn it. I, I didn't say that. I could have, but I didn't because I'm a nice friend and I don't want to put you down when, you know, obviously you worked hard for this or to give him a toy and I don't want to be that guy that just puts you down at the moment where you finally sort of embrace your, your hobbies and sharing it with other people. <laughs> you said I'm cool. It was pretty amazing. Yeah, but it's not like, a, like sewing's good for anything. Why not? Your your parents made a business out of it. Kanji seems embarrassed. Ah, don't be. But you know, it ain't a bad feeling. Thanks, huh? Ah, it was nothing. <laughs> Kanji, with his embarrassed smile, looks more mature than usual. I feel your relationship with Kanji has grown yet deeper. Good man. I like Kanji's. He's always, I, I just love... I love my party. I love my investigation team. I'm a great leader. <laughs> the Kanji Tatsumi social link has reached level 5. Your power to equip as soon as the Emperor Arcana has grown. Kanji's determination battle has been enhanced. He can now cure severe ailments during battle. This is a great place, huh? The wind is different up here. Never noticed before. Hmm. Later. You talked with Kanji for a while and started back home. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Thank you, Nanako. I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. It was a delivery for you. I left it on the table. Man, you've just done so much. It's the Soma combo you purchased from the TV show. Obtain Soma and purifying water. In addition, you obtain a bonus prize sticker. Still need to cash those in, uh, so I will probably do that tomorrow. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today. I sure could. Let's harvest our vegetables, though. Nanako is available as well. The vegetables you plan to look ready to be harvested. What will you do? Harvest the vegetables. Are you going to gather the veggies? I'll go, too. Thank you, Nanako. Believe it or not, I actually made use of the paprika. I never thought I would, but I did. Nothing like harvesting some crack with my little sis. Uh, I don't know if I could hang out with Nanako this evening, but I could also go to the hospital and pretty much finish off that social link. I think I'm really close to doing so, uh, and it's Wednesday, so Nanako, wait for me, okay? Dachi, just hang out here. Um, if I'm going to go to the shrine and uh, advance anyone's relationship, it's probably going to be Adachi, because I is sometimes at least out on the street and I can speak with her. But Adachi, I don't think I can rank him up outside of actually hanging out with him. Alright, let's go work at the hospital. Which part-time job will you go to? Hospital janitor. I have Belfagor, our favorite toilet-sitting persona. Uh, our relationship will deepen with Sayako because obviously a toilet-sitting persona is what's going to push us over the edge. Go work at the hospital. Yes. At least it's not sitting on a bedpan. You decided to work at the hospital. Alright, Enema Municipal Hospital, empty hospital room. You busily cleaned the recently vacated hospital room. You feel someone watching you, you decide to pretend not to notice and continue cleaning. Your courage has increased. Still hasn't maxed out, though. Oh, you're not Sayako. Hey, you. You can stop cleaning here. Finally! I mean, it's the only bed I've been cleaning this entire time I've been hired here. We're going to be needing this room, so can you get all your cleaning supplies out of here? Uh... Is there an emergency? Oh, wait, Harasan. One of the nurses just collapsed. Oh, that's... That's Sayoko. She's working herself to the bone, I suppose, and now she's collapsed. She needs to rest, but the doctors on break are using the lounge, so... So she's being admitted to the hospital she's working at. She seems overworked. Uh, don't tell anyone I said that, okay? I'd rather not get hauled in for a review. Here, help me. A nurse laid Sayoko down on the bed and injected her with a syringe. Oh boy. Oh, she's, she's not even changed. She's not even under the blanket. She didn't have to do that. I was just a little wobbly. It's important to rest. 
And what if there's no time to rest? There's always work waiting for me. <sighs> I'm lucky they didn't tie me down with an IV. I'm all right now. Are you? You're, you're, you recovered awfully quick there, Sayoko. I'll be going. It seems Sayoko is still set on continuing to work. Can't you just take the night off? What should you do? Uh... Don't do it all yourself. What? Why are you acting so high and mighty? Come on, you know I'm right. I mean... I might be able to save someone's life. Or you could end someone's life in your current state. Nurses need to be, you know, onto it, okay? And if you're wobbly and you know, careening out of bed when you're not even fully recovered, you're just gonna make things worse, okay? I need to do what I can. I can't spend time worrying about myself. Otherwise, I'd never be able to face him again. Ooh, what do I say? These are all good answers, but I haven't got any notes yet, and that's kind of worrisome. Um... You're just... Would he want that? Uh, of course he would. Wouldn't he? Yeah, think about it. Oh. I see. Uh... I was... Doing it for myself. I wanted to escape the pain. I was working hard to avoid feeling anything at all. I I can understand that, you know. Sometimes when you're feeling sad or down, best thing you can do is throw yourself into work. Or uh, I also throw myself into cleaning. That's <laughs> it's my best time to clean is when I'm just not feeling motivated at all. And honestly, it helps me forget things. But. <sighs> At the end of the day, you're just putting things off, Sayako. You need to face the problem head on. I see that now. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Sayako seems to be holding back tears. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Thank you. You're welcome. See, look at me. I'm taking a break from cleaning the very bed that I've been assigned to this entire year. And it just happened to be the one that you were lying down on, so there you go. I prepped it for you. Sayako tries to smile. You feel that you were able to give Sayako some support. Yeah, well, she didn't show me any support with some notes, but hey, it's fine. Rank 9 for Nurse. Oh, we didn't get a, any uh, romance option, but I suppose there could be one afterwards. The Nurse Social Link has reached level 9. Your power to create personas of the Devil Arcana has grown. I'm going to rest for a little while longer. You can go now. Don't look at me. There's nothing to be ashamed of, it's fine. But okay, I'll respect your wishes. You left Sayako and went home. You earned 5,000 yen from your work as a janitor at the hospital. As well as caretaker. 20 seconds. We've got some rain coming up in a couple of days. Classes have ended for today. You are waiting for Nata to recover. Who are we going to hang out with today? Teddy, what have you gotten up to now? Hmm... I sense that intense gaze today, too. Could I possibly have a secret admirer? It's the worst kept secret in all of Inaba, Teddy. <laughs> Seriously, pay attention. Uh, he must be so flustered if he still doesn't notice me. Love is blind. He's still saying the same thing. And yeah, like I said, if your face is taking up half my screen... Honestly, did, was she placed there on purpose? Because it's so easy to just get into that angle when you're trying to speak with her. Anyway, Yumi's available. So is uh, Ko, is I again? Wow, damn, maybe I should have just spent time with her yesterday. Yukiko's available. Naoki's available as well. He's uh, available on more days than just Monday and Tuesday now. Um, but yeah, let's spend some time with I. Actually, no, like I said, I can sometimes appear at nighttime, but I haven't really seen Naoki appear at nighttime, I don't think. So let's hang out with him today. Oh, hi. Hello, Sosan. Naoki seems to have some free time. I have Hellbiker. My relationship's not gonna become closer yet, but let's spend the afternoon with Naoki. Yes. Sure. It's okay. Naoki looks a bit happier. You're back. So you're home. I am. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today. Doubt I'm gonna be able to rank it up, but we might as well have a look. What about with Dojima? Hey! Hey, so. What's wrong? Bored? I feel the relationship with Dojima's not gonna become closer yet. That's fine. 
Ah, uh, <laughs> damn it, man. <laughs> running out of time. I say I'm running out of time, I don't even know when the game's gonna end, to be honest, so there's that. Anyone available this evening? Rize is. It's been a while since I've hung out with her, I feels. Alright, this evening, let's, uh, let's use the shrine, and let's try and get closer with the Dachi, because... If we have to get closer with him, we have to spend a daytime slot, and daytime is when we get most of our social links available, right? Compared to nighttime. Nighttime's uh, usually just Nanako or Tojima, uh, and we can start advancing our other social links if they're hanging out in the shopping district. It's a small shrine, it looks like you can draw matchmaking fortunes. Cost 200 yen, I have 400,000 yen. What should you do? Draw a fortune. It says, Great Blessing! You feel like you've gotten a little closer to Adachi, your relationship could become stronger soon. Excellent. That's what I like to see. The time passed as you tied the omikuji around the fortune tree. It's getting late. You decided to go home. All right. Oh, we got a day off today. Friday, the 23rd. Feels like we've had another one before. Today is the autumnal equinox. So you have the day off from school. Oh, wow, really? You get the day off for the autumnal equinox? All you can do now is wait for Naoto's recovery. What about the summer and winter stolsis? What should you do today? Uh, probably see Hasano. If she's available, let's get a move on. Hello, nice to see you again. So, Chan. Hasano seems distracted. Must be because you showed her the letters from her husband. Right, we did learn about her relationship with her husband and what exactly happened to him. Maybe you should speak with the owner of Daidara. Oh, right, of course. Okay, let's do that. Hang on. What about you, young missy? My sister shouted at me. She said, why didn't you pick the same snack as me? What's so wrong about me liking cookies? Did you find a leaf pochette? When my sister was playing a game, there was this cupid holding one. <sighs> I wonder where my sister found a thing like that. Right, sorry I didn't collect that for you as well. Jeez, sorry for speedrunning past dungeons. Marie is also available, and Rize is here. Yukiko's here. Man, I'm spoiled for choice. You come to see my art? Please look around. Take your time. Hey, do you know what a barrier corn is? I thought it was just ordinary corn, but I've heard there were two kinds. How about it? Will you bring me one of each like you did with that eat about trout before? <sighs> Harvest two types of corn. Sure, why not? Oh, you have them already? Well, can I have them? Sure, why not? I'm glad that I grew them. <laughs> yes. Completed, Quest 38. Harvest two types of corn. I see. So this one's tetracorn, and the other one's makaraka corn. Huh? Hey, wait right there for a sec. It's makaras corn. Sorry. <laughs> Mispronounced it. Sorry about the wait. Inspiration suddenly struck, and I had to go make something with the materials I had in the back. I want you to take it as a token of my gratitude. Is it an actual wall that I can take into battle? Obtained grilled corn. <laughs> Thanks. I might ask you another favor, and if I do, I'll be counting on you again. Right, well, for now, I'm going to sell you a bunch of stuff. Take it and go. If you sell all your materials, the total will come to 156,760 yen. Will you sell all your materials? Yes. Hopefully there's nothing I need to turn in uh, as part of a quest. Oh, that's come back to battle, isn't it? you have that, I can, yeah, go ahead, do your thing, buddy. Seriously, man, the amount of spam you have to get through, because, I mean, when they made the game, obviously you were going to collect a bunch of items and come back because of the amount of shadows you face in dungeons. They didn't think to streamline this, perhaps? <laughs> anyway, it's done. Let's buy some weapons and armor. Right, time to speak with you. Hmm, <laughs> you came at a good time. Do you remember those letters I gave you before? Well, I found more of them. If you want these two, you're more than welcome to them. Decided to take the letters. Received Tasano's letters. Again. <laughs> cool. Some more of them. Well, let's go deliver them like the good courier we are. Hopefully no one shoots us in the head. Hello, Hisano. I got more letters. Hopefully they bear good news. So, Chan, those... Hisano is surprised about something. I feel your relationship with Hisano is going to become closer soon. Will you spend the day with Hisano? Let's do it. Yes. I would like to talk. Hisano seems to have regained her composure. All right. My... Those are the letters I sent to my husband. Ah, oh, the ones you sent. You told her that you had found these at Daidara as well. Is that so? So, he'd been keeping my letters in the storehouse as well. <laughs> <laughs> we thought alike. Hmm. I need to throw these away as well. But first, can you let me read them? Sure, I mean, they're your letters. Hasano began reading a letter. We compared our hair. Now it reaches my shoulders. If not you, then who? 
will tie it up for me when it becomes necessary. The path you left on has long been buried by fallen leaves. Will I be able to meet you again when the cherry blossoms bloom and the cicadas buzz? Each day grows brighter. I can feel you coming closer, step by step. Hmm. I wrote this decades ago, but who knew that I would become death? Asana began reading the next letter. That poem you sent me was from the... was from the Issei, wasn't it? It's fitting, as I'm waiting here for you. But I wish I could just spring away from here and run to your arms. It would be an adventure to search for the cowrie of the swallows in order to win your heart. Oh, this is just like the plot of Up. Two old people going on an adventure. If I could transform my heart into the wind and make it rush to your side, would you take it into your hand? Hmm. I loved him this much. I can tell. You loved him for a long, long time. It's not easy having to see him go through what he did after basically three quarters of your life you were pining for this man. And because I loved him... It saddened me that he forgot my love. He didn't do it intentionally. It was just nature's cruel way of taking it away. I was miserable and jealous. Hmm. I was a fool. I mean, you know, you were suffering from so much pain. You were obviously blinded by it and it clouded your judgment. I was left behind because I was such a fool. No, your death, remember? I'm I'm fool. Your death. He... He was all that I had. Now, he's gone. I must accept that. But, hey, if you believe in the afterlife, you could be meeting him soon. I don't mean that in an ominous way. Take your time. <laughs> You're right. But can I do it? Time heals all wounds, believe it or not. Uh, it may be a slow process, but who knows, you might be able to do it. Sano smiles through her tears. I feel that you've touched Sano's heart. Oh, nice. I'm glad. Come on, Hasana, pick yourself up off the ground. Rank 8 for Old Lady. The Old Lady social link has reached level 8. Your power to create personas that the Tith Arcana has grown. Thank you. You're most welcome. <laughs> if it's okay with you, I'd like to see you again. Oh, we're back to liking to see me again. Well, that's great news. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Again, you're most welcome. You left Hasano and went home. Welcome back. Thank you. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today. We can hang out with Nanako as well. Can we rank up, though? That's the question. Um... Yes? Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. My relationship's not ready to advance yet. Oh, no, not again. We're back to square one. I see. <sighs> no, we're doing that again. Uh, what I should have done was uh, done some harvesting when Dojima was there, but that's okay. Let's see who's in the shopping district. Right, well, the diligence skill hasn't actually given me much apart from the fact that I can fish a little bit more but then again that all just goes to the cat so the cat's the one that's experiencing all the dividends I get from harvesting so I might as well just hang out directly with Nanako and get that extra uh, <coughs> note yes Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything I have Angel a persona of the Justice Arcana not ready to advance yet but hopefully this will make up for me abandoning you uh, two days ago and today <laughs> spend time with Nanako yeah okay yay Nanako looks happy. You're not hiding your report card again, are you? You spend a precious moment with Nanako. Of course it's a precious moment. And it looks like we're not gonna get closer. Damn it! Oh, right, I forgot there's school on Saturdays. <laughs> Jeez. 
I guess I'll talk about the history of mathematics in Japan then. Japan developed its own mathematics called Wasan that originally crossed over from China. Wasan, by the Edo period, developed so much that they could calculate 41 digits of pi. At the height of Wasan's popularity in the Edo period, a book came out titled Math Girl. I'm sorry, I, I just remembered the last time I gave her a voice and it, it just came back to me straight away as soon as I saw her face. I guess there must be some math deep nerdettes back then too. But it was just a drilled book written by a girl. It was a bit of a nerd at back in my youth, too. I'm just a boring housewife now. I bet you're anything but, Mrs. Nakayama. Time is cruel. Even with son has disappeared. Trying to make money the right way will feel so stupid. I mean, you're not wrong about that sentence. Sometimes it feels like you need to game the system to truly make it to the big leaves. Big leagues, I should say, not the big leaves. Sorry. Uh, anyway, let's move on to the workbook. Oh, look! More practice problems! You listen to the lecture intently. Oh, thank god I didn't have to answer a question. But it doesn't matter because my knowledge is already maxed out. But it's increased all the same. I'm just gonna become a bigger brain, you know? Class of for today, you're waiting for Nato to recover. Who is available today? Looks like a Dachi is available, so we can finally rank up with him, oh. so let's do that. Oh, it's you. You saved me. Dachi's slacking off. Our relationship's gonna become closer soon. We'll spend the afternoon with a Dachi. Let's spend some time with a Dachi. <laughs> Are you really Dojima-san's nephew? You seem too fun to be around for that. <laughs> well, thank you. I have, someone has to balance him out, okay? Dachi's smiling mischievously. You sure have a lot of time on your hands. I feel like I keep seeing you around. Well, it's after school, you know? I don't have a 9-to-5 job. It's, it's a 9-to-3 sort of commitment. But I guess that's what it's like for a high schooler. Enjoy it while you can. Yep, I definitely wish I'd followed that advice <laughs> nowadays. Uh, you slacking off again. This sucks. I wouldn't put it like that. Taking breathers is part of the job. It's all about efficiency. I mean, yeah, isn't that what I just told Sayako? <laughs> he's just, he's using my advice against me. Are you the one that's been watching me in the hospital all this time, Adachi? Just peeking behind the curtain, checking up on me, investigating me. I'm not the killer. Everyone needs rest from time to time. And today, that old woman hasn't found me yet. Interesting, because you're standing right in the entrance to probably the most busy part of town. <laughs> uh oh. Hmm? Where did you go, Toru-chan? This is bad. Oh, geez, not again. Did she bring me more Nimono? I'm right here, mother. Did you finish your shopping? I surely did. Let's go home. You're here for the first time in ages. I have to... <laughs> oh, why hello, detective. Toru-chan, this is Adachi-san. He's a police detective. Oh, his name is Toru as well. Hello, I hear you've been good to my mother. This is Doru, my son. He's in town to see me. <laughs> well, I'm really here for my job. I have to go back in a few days, though. Don't make an old woman sad, dear. Though it's good to know you're working hard. Toru-chan works at a trading company. He takes lots of business trips overseas. So young, and he's already a manager. <laughs> Come on, mother. We're probably getting in the way of his work. Let's go home, okay? You are not, but that's okay. I'll let you run away for Adachi's sanity. You hear their conversation as they walk away. I'm going to make lots of your favorite Nimono. That's great. Make sure the Rencon is a little tough. Of course, dear. Voices fade away. Guess it doesn't have to be me. No, I guess not. So that's the real one. We don't look a thing like each other. We're not even close in age. I think the only thing we have in common is our name. <laughs> yeah, that's the important thing, Adachi. But as long as he's here, I don't have to talk to her, so that's a relief. You got the weekend off. <laughs> what a miserable old woman. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> now I won't have to do all that overtime. I wish she'd move in with her son. Adachi's smiling. I like being alone. It's easy. Now it lets me do whatever I want. That's true. 
Gotta <laughs> agree there. <laughs> You're so cold for a kid. But that's the smart way to be. You can't be around tons of people and feel bad every time they do. <laughs> Dachi's smiling, but this time he's smiling with notes. Dachi seems a little bit sad. Oh, that was fast. His frown suddenly came right way up. <laughs> you feel like you understand Adachi a bit more. All right, there we go. Rank six. The Toru Adachi social link has reached level six. Your power to create personas of the Jister Arcana has grown. Hey. Adachi, so here's where you were. <sighs> ah, Dojima-san. Hmm? Oh, it's you. You looks like you found your subordinate. <laughs> Don't waste your time playing with high school kids. Let's go. Sorry. Sorry I kept you like that. Go on home. It's hey, fine. wait! Dojima-san! <laughs> Did he just apologize for me? I... You know what? I think he... Deep down, he does care for you, Adachi. We'll see ya. Dojima-san's waiting. Yep. There's a killer on the loose, believe it or not. You watched Adachi go back to work and then went home. Welcome home, big bro. Thank you. Looks like uh, Uncle Dojima's not home. He's probably scolding Adachi again. Right, Nanako is available to be hung out with. Adachi, see you're working overtime again. No one in the shopping district. Okay, I just have to double check because it might be worth hanging out with I, for example. Oh, Naoki, you do exist in the shopping district after all. Hmm. I can't remember if I'm going to become closer with you or not. It's fine. Let's hang out with Nanako. Let's not take the risk. All right. Um. Yes. Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. Since you have Angel, Persona of the Justice Arcana, relationships not with Vance yet, so let's spend time with yeah. Nanako. Okay, yay. Nanako looks happy again. You spend a precious moment with Nanako. You feel your relationship's gonna come closer soon. Excellent. That's what I love to see. It's Sunday, our favorite day of the week, because we get to start off with the shopping channel and then we hang out with Hisano. It's a very, it's a very scheduled day, <laughs> you know, like we know what we need to do. You have the day off from school today, all you can do now is wait for Naoto's recovery. What should you do today? You know, if Naoto does, uh, recover and join the it's me. party. Hello, I. Wanna go shopping with me today? I'm in the mood to buy something. Uh, you know what? Actually, since... <laughs> I'm not ready to rank up with you. And I did hang out with Hasano already on the Friday. Let's do it. Okay. Cool. Don't be late. I made plans to go out. All right. Done. Dusted. Shopping channel can wait. Okina Station. I dragged you all the way here. I want to go to that shop first and get a bangle. It's kind of expensive, though. Could you buy it for me? Sorry, I'm short on cash. <laughs> I ain't gonna get whipped. <laughs> I was just kidding. Thanks, though. Right. It promises to be an entertaining day. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. For who? For I, probably. You feel your relationship with I is going to become closer soon. Great. You spend some time with I. So that Welcome didn't, back. That didn't spill into a, um, a social link rank up. Thanks, Dojima. Uh, well, now that I'm ready to rank up with Nanako, I guess you decide to come home and block me from ranking up, huh? And there's no point in harvesting now because I'm already ready to move up with Nanako, so that's great. Anyway, since my structured day has been completely disrupted by Ai's phone call this morning, let's go and do the shopping channel. You realize that you haven't bought anything from the home shopping program this week? Maybe you should watch it. Yes, Tanaka's waiting for me. He hasn't sold out yet. Which program would you watch? He doesn't sell out to Persona 5 when he starts his shady commodities business. Watch the shopping program. You hear an infectiously cheery song. Here comes Tanaka over the airwaves to you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. Granter of your desires. This is Tanaka's Amazing Commodities Nighttime Edition. The mail order television program being broadcasted live to you. We guarantee your purchase will meet your satisfaction for a fair market price. Now let's introduce the products available for these three days. It's Death Scudetto. Happiness comes direct to you because... You know, I associate happiness with death, and you should too. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's wonderfulness. I'll add wasabi jelly to your death skadudo. Skadudo? Skadetto. All for the low price of only 28,800 yen. Don't fret if you don't buy this combo, because wasabi jelly is probably going to be available for the next two weeks as it was with the heavy soup. We've got another fantastic product on sale today, though. Diet food. Lose weight instantly. Summer's over, but that doesn't mean you don't start getting ready for the next one. Start dieting right now if you want that summer bod. On top of this, I'll add odd morsel 
to your diet food. For only 59.80 yen, will this help you lose weight? I don't know, it could give you the shits and you will lose weight that way. These products are so popular, we can only allow one order per person. Which would you like to purchase today? You can only buy one of the products offered. You currently have 426,000 yen. Death Scudetto combo or diet food? Uh, I think I'm pretty buff already. I don't need to go on some sort of diet. Let's go for the Death Scudetto. Apparently it'll bring me happiness. And I think it's a weapon for Kanji, so he'll be happy, right? You bought the Death Scudetto combo, including Death Scudetto and Wasabi Jelly. Wow, we've sold through our entire stock. Thank you all so much for your anticipation and participation in today's show. Today's sale is over, but you'll get another chance for three days starting next Sunday, which will have Wasabi Jelly, I promise you. You can even quote me on this. See you next time on this channel. You hear the catchy song again. Here comes Tanaka over the airwaves to you. The shopping program has ended. You turn off the TV. I don't know what to say now because it's nighttime and everything's ruined. Right, after some Welcome pain, to the velvet room. painstaking calculations and just complete and utter lucky guesses, we've managed to get Rampage on Gadon. I can only hope that Margaret's next request involves one of the numerous skill cards that I have because unfortunately Rampage wasn't one of them and I had to do it the old-fashioned way. This Gadon has Rampage, I see. You've successfully completed the request? Do you know why I asked you to bring me such a beast? To make my life miserable in hell? <laughs> I should have used a guide at the end of the day now that I think about it. Because I wanted you to be aware that even an innocent boy like you can harbor such a dreadful creature inside. Oh, I'm innocent, huh? Well, hey, that's how you see me. And I wanted to ride on it for a bit. Of course you did. Because this limo is not enough, huh? You have to ride on an actual tiger. But this persona seems too hot for me. Can I extinguish its flame? <laughs> I'm kidding. I wouldn't harm your persona, nor yourself. Oh, well, that's a relief to hear. I think. Oh, that's less of a relief to hear. Margaret is smiling gently. You become a little more intimate with Margaret. <laughs> like how it's not become closer or your friendship's deeper. You become more intimate with the Empress, Margaret. Margaret's social link has reached level 4. Look at her just closing her eyes and imagining herself riding that Gadon. And Igor's just staring at me like, Wow, bro, you did it. <laughs> your perso your power to create personas of the Empress Arcana has grown. What's next? Well then, for my next request, I would like a Neko Shogun capable of using Bufala. If anyone can do this for me, it's you. I eagerly await your return. You're shitting me. I've got Bufu and I've got my Bufala, but I don't have Bufala on its own. Oh boy, this is going to be a long night. You know what? I think let's just do one social link for today. For this episode, we're just going to do the Gadon. <laughs> All right, let's have some uncle nephew speak. Hey. Tajima, what's wrong? Bored? Since you have Omo Akane, a person of the Harfin of Akana, you won't be able to come closer yet. Will you spend some time with Dojima? Yeah, let me tell you all about my failed attempt to calculate a persona for a couple of years. Eventually, managing to satisfy Margaret and become more intimate with her, uh. only to not have the necessary skill card for the next one. Maybe she's doing that on purpose. Is that bored? Well, have a seat. Dojima sighs, but he looks a bit happy. All right, look at our lively conversation. You spend time talking with Ojima. I look so depressed. <laughs> I look so exhausted, just like, fuck, I was calculating personas for ages, trying to fuse the perfect one. You feel the relationship's gonna become close soon. That's great news. Here comes the rain. Is this gonna be enough? Classes have ended for today. You're waiting for Natsu to recover. It could be. Oh well, the boys are gone and it's just Teddy. It looks like he's finally looking in Hanako's direction. Ah, Sensei, I'm scared. There's something scary. Oh yeah, that's what we call lightning, Teddy. It's, uh, it booms and it's really loud, but ultimately it's harmless unless you're probably carrying a metal rod. But you're not going to do that, right? My Teddy sense is detecting danger. It's a red alert. <laughs> yeah, it's a red alert, all right. But it's almost time for work and I can't leave without passing through here. <sighs> What should I do? There's a uh, staircase out in the back if you want. Give it everything you've got. Alright, I won't hold back an inch. Wait, so what am I supposed to do? I still don't get it. <sighs> but man, this feels worse than a shadow. Oh, how awful. Oh yeah, it's worse than a shadow, alright. <laughs> it reduced Yosuke's scooter to a shadow. <laughs> Hello. Oh, again. Honestly. 
Stay back. <laughs> now, now, come over here. There's no need to be shy. You're not getting away from me today. Like, she's ready to ambush him. Just, just approach him, you know? <laughs> Don't be shy. Oh, Sokan. Oh, right, it's a practice day today. Are you going? I have Gudon, conveniently enough, but my relationship's not ready to advance yet. Uh, I see. I'll cancel for now. Yumi's mind seems to be elsewhere. Uh, sorry about that. I, I'd imagine there's not many people I can hang out with because of the rain, so let's have a look around, though. Hello, my gas station friend. Hi, how are you? Even on a day like this, where there's not that many customers, I gotta spend it standing around. Really? Out in the rain? You don't even have an umbrella. But looking at the town puts me at ease somehow. Maybe it's because I've lived here for so long. Hmm. I guess he doesn't have that much ambition in life. He's just gonna stay as the gas station attendant, but nothing wrong with that. What is wrong is standing out there without an umbrella, unless he's standing underneath the cover. Right, no one's out here. Might as well just spin it with Yumi. I could do the uh, make a beef bowl challenge, but my knowledge is maxed out, my expression's maxed out. I suppose I could work on my understanding and diligence. Now nah, let's spin it with Yumi. Why not? Oh, so can. Uh, yes. Oh, so can indeed. Go to drama club I practice. I see. You're working hard, huh? Yumi smiles weakly. I'm sorry, but you should go to practice by yourself. I have to go somewhere. I'll drop by if I can make it. I'm gonna guess she doesn't make it. Yasugami High Drama Club. You participated in the acting exercises. You thoroughly practiced expressing a variety of emotions. Your expression has increased, but it's already maxed out. Yumi isn't here. You decided to see her at the hospital. Nice. Inaba Municipal Hospital Corridor. You talked with the despondent Yumi for a while. You feel your relationship's gonna become closer soon. Welcome back. Thank you. I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. You went shopping while it's raining, Nanako? Goodness me. Well, as I expected, not much going on in town, so we're gonna hang out with Dojima this evening. Hey! What's wrong? Bored? Uh, no, it's just raining, you know? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> My relationship's gonna be up closer soon. We spend some time with Dojima. Let's uh. do it. You're that bored? Well, have a seat. Dojima sighs, but he looks a bit happy. Alright, what are we up to? Dojima pushed Nanako to your room for some reason. W why? Doesn't she have her own room? Now then, first off... Yes? You gotta teach me some self-defense? How to arrest a perp? It seems Dojima has, a, has something in mind. Sorry, but can you go call Nanako down here? You just made me go made me make her go to my room. <laughs> you want me to bring her back? Take your time. Okay. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, all right. Sure, why not? You called Nanako as Dojima ordered you to do, and I'm going to come back and see a brand new car waiting for me. I've upgraded from a scooter. Dojima's just that cool uncle suffered me you a car. Told to go over there. Don't ask me, okay? I, your dad obviously has something planned. Oh, wowee, look. A cake? Wow! Yeah, it's not even my birthday. What are we celebrating? Uh, well, today is a special day for us. Right, well, you could look a bit more excited about it, Dojima. Look at your eyes, they're just so exhausted. A special day? That's right. There we go, there's the smile. Today's the day when you, me, and him become family. We weren't already, but I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. What about before? Yeah, well, thank you, Nanako, for asking the questions that I was thinking. Uh, well... A anyways, it's the day that we become a real family. A real family. Hmm... I'm officially inducted as your big bro, Nanako. How does that make you feel? I'm sure that makes you feel joyful and excited. I don't really get it, but it makes me happy. Good, that's what I love to hear. All right, <laughs> let's eat. <laughs> Don't you sigh of relief like, oh, fuck. she bought it. <laughs> she bought my excuse. Yeah. Yeah, let's eat cake. You spent an enjoyable time together. Nanako used up all her energy and fell asleep, <laughs> eating the cake. Uh, well... <laughs> Dojima's back to looking exhausted. Uh, sorry about making you go along with this. It was fun. Ask me next time, though. It was fun. Huh. You're a nice guy. 
Nice guys finish last. Dojima and I don't intend on finishing last. Dojima looks happy. I felt like I needed to do this to draw the line. Right. And I wanted Nanako to know. She has to know how important my daughter is to me. No, I appreciate that. You know, have a little bit of a family event. Just something different, to, you know. <laughs> Rather than just letting her watch TV all the time. I, I think you did well, Dojima. She's looking more and more like Chisato. Hmm. Her smile, her strong attitude. It's a little bittersweet, huh? But I think in the end you're going to be very proud of what your daughter will turn into. It was hard for me to even look at Nanako's face, because she reminds me so much of Chisato. Chisato died because she went to pick up Nanako. There were times when I'd come close to believing that. Uh, I mean, it is the easier way to look at it, right? Blame... Blame something else. But even then, I can't count the number of times she saved me just by being there. If I was living by myself, I would never have thought about taking you in. Hmm. I think I was scared. Scared to have someone else around. I was afraid we'd become a family. And then I'd lose it all again. Yeah, I think I mentioned this before. It's like getting another pet after you've lost one. And you just don't want to go through that pain again of getting connected and attached only to eventually lose it again. It's tough. And I can definitely empathize with you, Dojima. I was running away by chasing a guy who'd run away himself. <laughs> it was almost funny. Dojima's smile looks sad. Despite the triumphant I've music in the background. This whole time. Well, triumphant's not the right word. Probably just, you know, a happy music. That's why I used revenge as an excuse to not spend time with her. Hmm. You've stopped running. That's right. I can't make Nanako wait any longer. Dojima nods. Good on you, Dojima. Spend time with your daughter while you can, before she gets into a rebellious teenager phase. Running, regretting, that crap all ends tonight. I'm not going to lose the things that are important to me. Never again. I appreciate that. You can feel Dojima's strong resolve. Alright. I probably should be paying attention to the social links, as they may be giving me hints on who the killer may be. Then again, I don't even know if our killer has a social link, but... I don't know, if we're going for maximum impact, I'd say the killer's probably someone on my social link list. On a meta uh, viewpoint, that is. The retired Dojima social link has reached level 9. Excellent. That's the strength you show me. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome, man. I'm just a humble student. You sat with Dojima for some time in silence before going to your room. Right, if I have to guess... Oh, well, it's gonna be sunny in the afternoon. So maybe oh, nothing... Senpai. No fog today? Just what I needed. Right. Risei forced herself under your umbrella. You know what? You're not the first girl to have done this. So don't think you've... Earned some brownie points with me, Rize. To be honest, I, I I mentioned this in the Discord, but I'm kind of afraid. I'm too intimidated by uh, by Rize and and making her a wife. I feel like she'd just like she'd be super clingy, and if I ever break up with her, I'm gonna be haunted forever. She will be so scornful that my life will be in jeopardy. So I don't know. Maybe it's better to not open up that uh, that can of worms. Gee. Sheesh, this wind. I just bought a new umbrella and it's already broken. But I guess there was a silver lining. Oh? Hey, senpai. If you don't huddle in a little closer, your shoulder will get wet. See, it's just these these tactics. It's like she's digging herself into my mind. And she's, she's living there rent-free. <laughs> Do I say it? Well, I did say to Teddy, you know, I'm just gonna go in and and do it. I, I'm sexier when I'm soaked. Huh? Whoa, I can't believe you actually said that. Well, that's the kind of energy that you were radiating, okay? And it just rubbed off on me, all right? Maybe you shouldn't say things like that in front of other people. I think it might creep them out. Yeah, well, I tried. I shot my shot and we missed completely. But you know what? Might be a blessing in disguise. I'm surprised she's still under the umbrella. 
Ugh, this humidity is ruining my hair. It's taken some abuse from all the magazine photo shoots I've been in, so sorry, I'm still hopping out what I'm fucking said. So it's a little fragile. Uh-huh, yep, go on. I'm just wallowing in despair. I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. That's the kind of sentence that you'll think about when you're lying in bed when you're in your early 30s. You're going, man, I can't believe I said that when I was 16. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm just kind of tired. Right, so you decided to just sigh in my face. <laughs> Right, right. Practice today, too. I'll see you later. Yumi seems to be acting strangely. Everyone's exhausted. I mean, this week has just been exhausting for me in terms of work. Just this entire year has been exhausting, okay? For everyone. I'm surprised anyone has the energy to do things these days. Maybe you should attend drama club practice after school today. If she does, I will. Right, clouds have ended for today. You're waiting for Nato to recover. Looks like the rain stopped, so I'm not expecting fog. Let's, uh, again, let's just regret what we said this morning.